G'day, didn't see you there. I'm Esso from Bliss and Esso, and you're about to embark on G-Shock's 30th anniversary party. <laughs> Right, check it out. So the first G-Shock I got was one of those classic diving yellow and black watches, like the full like 200 meter ones. And I thought that was so fresh as a kid in elementary school in DC. It's always been somehow in our past. I know DJ Ism and you know his bro older brothers used to rock it, and all the older kids when I was young used to rock them, and it was just kind of like the cool thing to have. It was a response to a big niche in the market for a watch that you could smash about, and then they made it fashionable. They're always pushing the limits and changing. I think that's why they've been successful. They're not afraid to just move move out in crazy directions design-wise and colors. Hip-hop kind of style and, and dress sense has always been very flamboyant, colorful, lots of different designs, and the shot, and the watches just complement that. These guys are like fun, and that's and that's what the difference is for me. Where G-Shock's heading, and the reason that it's cementing a good future for itself, is because it's collaborating with relevant people. It's collaborating with, with the right type of people, which is why tonight we're announcing that we're collaborating with Bliss and Esso. They're innovators, and we consider our brand to be innovators as well. In the US, they've, they've partnered up with Eminem. In the UK, it's Coldplay. It's with the right type of people to, to continue always progressing. Classic icons like Eminem or Wu-Tang Clan, who we grew up on, doing collabs with them, it's like, wow, we're doing that as well. That's, we feel pretty honored and it's a special thing. The whole thing's just been a wonderful joyride for us. I mean, it's not like, um, this isn't work for us. This is uh, something that we want to do and, and something we love. So, yeah, we're, we're glad to be on board. <laughs> 